Hello folks on this Earth Day. Suddenly everybody's talking about the Earth's Day and it's been spoken for the last 50 years. What is so sad about it is that in the last 50 years we have accelerated the time that we have given to the Earth to exist and survive. We have trashed the Earth like never before. We have raped the Earth like never before. When you walk on the streets, when you walk in the parks, when you walk along canals, when you walk in the forest, when you walk anywhere on this planet Earth, where humanity has put their foot, they have gone with a heavy foot to pretty much destroy every living, every existential, every component of life-making material on this earth. It is very interesting to see nobody seems to pay attention to the logic is what they know, to the very magic of what we are living, the phenomena of life, the experience of breath, the experience of the freshness and the sparkle of the water, which is fouled, poisoned and spilled with absolutely every chemical possible that has been extracted off this earth. Don't think that what we throw comes from the air, comes from the sky, comes from heaven. It is what we produce is what is being thrown around. It is what we have been educated with. Nothing but I. The intention of I has become the most painful reality on human existence on earth today. With this I concern, it has caused a tremendous harm to every other life because with this intention of I is here to sit and experience the wonders of you doing all the hard work and dirty work, destroying the very life-making materials of the planet, we have ignored every step of the way. For the last 50 years, we've accelerated. Instead of talking about, we should be acting on an individual basis. How we provided the necessary education for the people who are impacting from it all. There is no economy without marrying the ecology. The ecology is the economy. Have you ever thought about it? Has anyone spoken about the ecology? Marrying with economy instead of ecology versus economy or economy versus ecology. In this, all we are doing is further deteriorating the life of our planet. Is that what you wish to leave behind for the children of the future? Your children, the next generation, or for the never mind, if you don't have children? Have you left the planet that you found a little bit better than how you found it? That's all we can do. That one single action that you take. I don't drink tea. I don't drink coffee. I don't switch on the kettle. I don't switch on the cooker to boil water for my morning coffee, afternoon coffee, noontime coffee, six o'clock afternoon tea. All of this. We've created all of this. Is it luxuries? Or is this torture? Luxuries? Yes, we've created these so that you are occupied. To drink one cup of coffee takes 40 cups. You boil 10 cups of water in the kettle, which is then thrown in the, the sink because it's every time I open, the water just comes out. Yes. 
people will say, yes, I pay for the water. Yes, you are paying for the water. You don't have the right to destroy the water unnecessarily. Filling up the baths, filling with milk, salt. I can go on about it. It is sad to find ourselves in a situation that we are now talking about it. We are trying to create policies after destroying the planet for such a long time by introducing the communistic, is it? Consumeristic, so to speak, ideas of living. It is worse than all the ways of living. The life that we have chosen to live with luxury it is the luxury that everyone is seeking. But do we have the luxuries of waste, luxuries of greed to fulfill every human being that exists on this earth by destroying every life-making material? We don't. If you don't act, the earth will do what it's needed. The pain and suffering and struggle and countless struggles that we'll face with the nature is yet to be, yet to see what we are seeing through wildfires, storms, tornadoes, all of this, hurricanes, floods, landslides, all of this does not come. It's not to punish you. It is that earth is trying to recover for what you're doing. That is out of its natural way of forming as a wholesome life. The earth has been ripped. Earth has been torn. Earth has been raped. It's time for you to all wake up. As I walk down this canal now, I will make more videos for you to see, but nobody is in, ever interested in what I'm saying and what I have seen for the last 42 years. Everyone is interested in doing documentaries, shows. All of this is what all these YouTubers and bloggers, vloggers, all these caricatures are doing. It is sad, nobody seems to be walking 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 20 kilometers a day as I have been doing. To know, to see the impact of human foot, human hand, human intentions on this earth. I wish you don't need policies, you don't need laws, you don't need acts you don't need summits all you need is a conscious mind the world does not need your help to do anything it is happening perfectly in sync with the existential creation of life it is your idea that you need to drop it is your idea that needs changing to heal this planet the planet does not need your help the earth is fine without you. It will flourish without the humanity on earth. But for us to enjoy this brief moment of time, it's not your powerful armies or powerful governments and your policies and your summits that's going to heal this planet. It is your conscious, responsible gentleness in being a fragile human being with a conscious intention to, to heal with every step, with a compassion for life as a whole, an inclusive way is the only way to heal the impact we've caused to this planet and to the Mother Earth. With that, I bow down for the Mother Earth giving me a breath and that breath and the water that heals my energy and renew and rejuvenate as life.